welcome everyone. New Dead White Volvo video, as you guys know. And this is my fuel tank. I bought just a new jack. This thing is awesome. 50 centimeters of uh, lift, so way more than I first had. So we're just trying to get the fuel tank out. And yeah, this thing is just, uh, yeah. I have no words for it. But, uh. So, taking apart my fuel tank to replace that single rubber gasket that's around here ended up in a nightmare because this is my filler neck that came from the, from the car. And this thing actually looks okay, except when you look here, because there is a big old hole, as you can see over there. So, this thing is not going back in the car. This is one I picked up a couple of months ago, and this, uh, this thing has uh, on the same spot exactly also a hole. So, both of these are shut, and the other thing that happened was this thing. Snapped off, and this is the top of your fuel sender unit. And as you can see, this thing is just toast. This one is broken, this one broke off. So yeah, this thing can go in the garbage. And the other thing that happened was over here you have your fuel lines. And over here I have the hose that connects this to this thing. And I have the other half. And this is metal. This is actually my fuel line. And it's not very good when you have your fuel, your fuel line in your hand. Because that thing is just rusted through. And yeah. This is not how it's supposed to look. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to order a new fuel center unit. Another 70 bucks. And there is going to come a new ring in here. Another 10 bucks. And then we need to put everything back. Oh no. We also need one of those. Oh, that's another 50 bucks or something used if I can find one and yeah so 50 70 10 that's about well just call it uh, 150 euros and then uh, this thing should drive again oh yeah and we need to fix this and I don't know if it's necessary to have this uh, kind of connection there because otherwise I will just order a longer piece of hose and just run it from there directly onto the line just so show it over my fuel line with some hose clamps and then it will be fine for now of course it must be safe but yeah it's safer than this it's safer than this it's safer than that so it should be safer than anything but yeah we're both done we're just high on fumes and as you can see when undercoating gets fuel on it your fuel will look like this <laughs> That's just chocolate milk. So yeah, that's it. It's just uh, a terrible day. Bloody perfect. Working on a Volvo. An idiot next to you. Right. <laughs> and some pizza. Ho ho ho. Chicken pizza. So next day, today is a Wednesday. I have a whistle over here. He's gonna help me out putting the tank back together. Uh, yesterday I just completely uh, put every little bit of paint off his thing. The top, I mean, not the bottom. Um, and I just painted it. This high gloss black. This thing looks brand new again. All the rust is gone. And yeah, he is now trying to find out uh, why my new fuel sender unit is a bit different than the old one. And yeah, to show you what I mean, this one is 
One, two, oh, one, two, three. Put of nozzles. And this one only has two. The big one is to take the fuel from the bottom of your tank to the top and to your carburetor. The, the tiny one is just capped off with a tiny rubber cap. And the weird thing is that when I go underneath my car, I have one hose laying there. And I think it should go on the ventilation of the tank, but I'm not sure about that. So we didn't look that closely to the car when we put the tank out. But yeah, we'll find out and let's put this thing back together. And then I can finally, after one week of riding this silly mountain bike thing, I can finally take that white Volvo again for a spin. And then, yeah, it's the weekend off. So me and my girl are going on a three day vacation, tiny road trip thing. So yeah, there will be an awesome video about that in the next episode. And So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the car is outside again, the tank is in, it runs fine, it drives great, um, but I have one problem. My battery light is just staying on and it won't turn off, so, um, yeah, it could be my ignition switch, it could be my alternator, but I think it's my alternator because it's not charging fully also, so, yeah, I need a, I need a new one and i don't know where i can get one for like under 160 euros so that pretty sucks because i don't have that kind of money yet so yeah i'm going away for a weekend and uh this will be uh, the only video I will, I will be posting this weekend so on monday i don't think i will be posting i'm not sure yet maybe just a video of this weekend we'll see but uh yeah, this was it uh, for this episode. We uh, installed a uh, fuel tank in a 240 and uh, the thing is running great again. So I hope you guys liked this one. Make sure you subscribe for the next video. And if you like this one, please leave a like and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.